Hello, today I'm going to talk you through how to uh, move your Core Wallet to a new PC in case your laptop's dying or you get a new laptop. Hello, this is John Rawnsley and thank you very much for jumping on this training video today. Before we get started, I'd like to run through the disclaimer. I'm an independent affiliate. I'm not employed by anyone to create this video. As a crypto enthusiast, I've created this video to help people understand certain processes that they may want to undertake. This video is for educational purposes only and you should validate the information contained in it as it can change very fast in this space. I hold no responsibility for anyone using the video to enable them to do the process and any subsequent loss as a result or misunderstanding or a process change. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not able to give you financial advice. So the first thing that we're going to actually do is put our um, USB flash drive in that has a backup. And we're going to make sure that we can get onto our core wallet and just check all the files that are um, together within there. So the, the flash drive's in now. And we're going to go into our G99 backup folder. I'm looking at the particular, the date of the masternode and the g99.conf files um, to make sure they haven't changed on the main um, on the main install. They shouldn't have changed because we haven't done any change in between there. So we'll go to um, my live. And we can see it's the same dates that we have in both the backup and the um, and the actual live file, which means I don't have to replace them files. They're very important, especially if you have master nodes, because you're going to need them. So first thing we do is we're going to create a backup of the file at today today's date. Um, you might remember I create backups and I use ENC backup, which is encrypted backup. I put in the date and the time that this was backed up. It's just something that I do normally just to make sure I know where everything is and I can work out which is the latest backup. Sometimes you might do more than one within a day. save that so i'm happy that that's now saved to my backup file i'm going to close my core wallet because we're now going to move this away from this it's important as well once you do this that um, you don't um, you don't restart it on your old one so you can delete it because if you start the both up they'll clash and stop your master nodes we don't want to do that so we're on the new pc now and we're going to file and um, we put our um, flash drive in here. The first thing I'm going to do is create on the root directory my G99 folder and then put my data folder in there as well because I install, I install the core wallet on data under G999. And the G999 is where I will actually unpack the core wallet um, executable file, which actually builds the wallet for us. So we've created the two folders. We'll close that down. Uh, if we go now to Chrome and we go to g99main.net, I'm going to download. So I've got the latest version. I'm going to download G99 wallet. Go to the bottom and this is for a Windows 64 bit PC, brand new PC. So and I'm just going to straight download that to my downloads folder. Once in there, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to unpack or extract this uh, folder to my G99 folder. So we'll extract, hit the G99 on the root. And I'll just do it there. I won't do it in the data folder because I don't want this mixed up with the data. This is just the extraction file which will build the core wallet. So we're going to take the G99-QT out and we're going to drop that 
onto the desktop because it's in a simpler place moving forward. So I would double click this now and because it's the first time it's installing it's going to ask us where we want to install. As usual we're getting a warning just run anyway and then we're using a custom directory so we know it's on my C drive and it's on my C root so we'll click on the C drive and then G999 and then in data and that's where I'm going to install my folder files it's the easiest place for me to install the files to be fair so we'll just let this start up so that we know that it's running okay. You can see it's 13 weeks behind, but there's nothing in there. That's because I haven't moved any of the backup files in there yet. So I'm going to close this down now. And then I'm going to access the encrypted backup I did earlier. And I'm going to access the G99 config and the masternode config files. So we're going to go into the flash drive. My G99 backup and the G99 config and the master node. I'm going to copy those two files and I'm just going to paste them into the new folder and I'm going to create two folders. I'm going to open the two folders so that we can see what's happening. So just copy in, replace the destination files. Again, replace the destination files. So that now has my backed up copies on the um, root of my PC. And now I'm putting in the encrypted date backup file I did earlier. I'm deleting the wallet.dat file. And I'm going to rename this file now to wallet.dat. So this backup file now takes over as the main wallet.dat. Once all that's done, I can close everything down, hit the G99QT file and open again. And you can see that it's showing all the masternode rewards in there. And still 13 weeks because it's got to rebuild its index. But you can see that it's showing all the payments that have been in there. So I'm speeding up everything that's happened now so that you can actually see the file get populated as we move through. So these are showing question marks behind them because they haven't been picked up with the time. But as time goes on and as time's speeded up, you will actually see that you can see now that they're getting ticks against them because everything has updated. We just waited for a 100% update. Once it's completely updated, and I'm happy with that, we're going to go to settings, uh, sorry, file and backup wallet. And I'm going to create a backup again because that's just my policy. So I'm going to create a backup with the date and time now. As you know, I do encrypted backup. I only have to change the time now. So the first one was at 10.07. This one is at 11.54. So now I know I've got a backup of the file exactly as it is. So there's only um, a few things to actually do now. One is to actually check that my encryption has happened the way it's supposed to have happened. So with that, I'm going to go to my encryption file. So we're going to move over to settings and we're going to unlock the wallet. This is just to make sure that my, um, my passphrase works within the system and actually unlocks the wallet. Got to read this as I'm uh, putting it in because it's not one out of my head. Click OK, and then if I go back up to settings, 
I can see lock wallet, so I'm happy that I have now unlocked the wallet using my encryption. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.